All right, class. So today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to take practice quizzes on noredink.com. Now, yesterday we made our accounts on No Red Ink, uh, but we didn't have enough time to learn how to use the quizzes, and these are going to be really beneficial for you guys. So I'm going to show you how to get started on your own at home. So this is what your homepage should look like after you log in and see your assignments would be right here, but there's not much going on here, zero topics mastered. Uh, we don't have a quiz average or a practice average because we just made our account yesterday. So we're going to go up here and we are going to practice. So once you get over here, um, you see that there are many, many different uh, topics to choose from. There's subject verb agreement, singular versus plural, punctuation, structure, um, a positives and commas. There's a lot of stuff to choose from, a ton of stuff. So we are going to be using these practice quizzes to practice what we know about these so that I can take what you guys uh, do. I can take your scores and see what each of you are really struggling with the most so that we know where to go from there. So it's really important that you guys like take these quizzes seriously. Um, so which one do I want to work on? I think I'm going to do commonly confused words because I know you guys uh, get your words confused a lot, but that's okay, that's what these quizzes are for. So let's try already versus already. So you're gonna start with your practice and this is how it works. So it does give you directions up here, but I've worked with this a little bit in the past so I can explain it to you. Um, if you believe that the word highlighted is wrong, then you're going to click on it. And you're going to um, click on it and type in the box and change it if you need to. But if you think it's right, you're going to leave it how it is. So by the time John Oliver got to my house, I had already eaten all of the brownies. So I think that it's the already that's already there. So we're going to submit and uh, let's see the next one. David Putty and his teammates are all ready for the championship game on Saturday. I think that this one is correct as well because since they're teammates, you see how I'm highlighting here? There's more than one person, so they are all ready. Let's see. Samwise Gamgee was surprised to find that he already had enough votes to win the election. So, going to change that. Eric Foreman thought his friends were all ready to go on the water slide, but none of them but one of them chickened out at the last minute. So this is all ready. Hmm. Chandler Bing was looking forward to the mummy exhibit until he found it had already been closed. Okay. See, we're about 50% done. See, they're only little, um, they should only be about 10 questions. Maybe since we're at the level four up here, it might be a little longer, but all the tests I've taken before have been re relatively short. Um, that her friends had already... Okay, there we go. Jason Jones is all ready for his job interview. Hmm, what is this? He's all ready. I'm going to keep it like that. Um, planted last spring were all ready to be harvested and eaten. Ooh, there we go. Kramer was all ready to sit down and do his homework. Okay, yes. She had taken only three weeks of lessons. She was already fluent in Spanish. So there we go. See, look, mastery achieved because I got a 100 out of 100. So you can either go on to the next quiz or check out your progress. We'll probably go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to show you guys how simple these quizzes are. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it gives me a lot of feedback to see how you're doing. So 
I have a 14% for commonly confused words because I've only taken one of the seven uh, quizzes available. But that's okay because we are going to be doing this a lot. But if you guys noticed um, while we were taking, let's do another one just so I can show you again. I didn't want to focus on it while I was showing you the quiz. But if we um, take a look at these questions, oh, this one's not as common, so you might not know it. But Apu, this is a character from a TV show I watch. So Apu was worried his sight would get worse if he kept trying to read in the dark. So he's talking about reading, so it's going to be sight as in your eyes. So I'll submit that. Um, okay, Andy Bernard. Here's an example you guys might get. So what no red ink does, um, we might not have done it yesterday. It depends on if you had enough time during class. But no red ink allows when you make a, um account. You put in some of your interests and some of your favorite books, movies, TV shows, and they actually apply that throughout your questions so that it's not something bore li boring like Susie or Johnny or anything like that. You're actually looking at the names from shows you enjoy. So if that motivates you a little bit more, keeps it interesting, then go ahead and uh, answer those questions because that would make life a lot better for you and me. So Andy Bernard arrived at the camping site before everyone else. So that is this site. Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you this question, this uh, quiz real quick. Bernie Stinson, remember to cite. You guys should definitely know this one because we have to cite the work we do. Um, Arwen, ask the editor to correct the information on the site. Hmm, I think it's site like that. Awesome. Ask the doctor to cite a clinical study. Uh-huh. Bernie Gumball's sight lines were great, so he could see everything happening. Hmm, site? Nope. Sight. Hmm, there we go. After Ted Mosby saw yet another breathtaking sight, he regretted not bringing his camera. Okay, so we're going to, so we answered a lot of them correct, right? So now I'm going to show you guys what happens when you get it wrong. Since he didn't have time to cite his sources properly, Comic Book Guy just scribbled the author's name at the bottom of his paper. So again, this would normally be cite, like we've learned how to cite our sources in class before. But I am going to put this site and see what happens. Now you see I have a mastery 58 of 100 up here in the corner. But if you get it wrong, what happens? Not quite. Try once more to fix the sentence. So it gives me one more chance. And this time it gives me options so I don't have to type it myself. So we just click through to get the options. And now we're going to put the right answer. And if you see down here, it even lets you see a hint if you need. But we're just going to submit for now and correct. So there you go. Now you get um, back up to your mastery. You're working on it again. So whenever Gimli writes a term paper, he, refers, he prefers to cite his sources using MLA format. So we're going to submit the wrong answer again. Because I want to show you guys. See, notice it took me down too. So if you guys just, you know, rush through this and don't pay attention, you're going to make it harder on yourself because you cannot finish the quiz until you've answered enough questions correctly. It's not just a 10 question minimum, you know. You have to put effort into it and you'll be done faster. So if we look at this hint down here, it actually gives you the rules. Ooh, okay, so you can't highlight, but we can see here. It gives you the rules of each me each word, and it gives you examples of what these words uh, mean in a sentence. So, if you guys need that hint, it's there. So we're gonna hide that again, and we are going to um, put the right answer again. Woo. Okay, so see, it kept me at 45 because I need to earn my way back up to 100. So we are just going to plow through this really quickly. 
retriever to take over. Okay. Hmm. So, site. I know that this is site with a C because it says webmaster. So, uh, we're going to finish up. Oh, this was wrong. The daily maintenance of her most important site. Hmm. All righty. Well, then we're going to put, oh, site with an S. Mm, see, that was my mistake. And now I have put the right answer. There we go. I was getting my, um, my sites and my sources and my internet mixed up. But that's okay because it gives you another chance. Um, oh, here's another one of my favorites. Like I said, I love that it puts in these characters. So I spent all evening on the celebrity gossip site. There we go. Um, I don't know if he was allowed to site. Where's uh, numbers two? Site. Some research. Unusual. Hmm, now it seems I have extracted site lines. Hmm, site. So we're almost done here. The site of the new housing development was in. Yes. Beautiful site every day. Hmm, that is correct. Chinese teacher always makes her site. Hmm, the site master's name. Alrighty, so finally mastery achieved on this level. So again, we're going to go check out our progress. And look, I am now up to 29% of commonly confused words for because I have completed site versus site versus site and already versus already. So that's it, guys. It's pretty simple. You log in, you pick your preferences for your shows, and you click on practice. And you have all these uh, topics to choose from. There is so many of them. And look, as you scroll by, it says how well you've done on each of them. So you can actually see your progress as you complete all these quizzes. And you saw me take two just now in, like, the last ten minutes. So it doesn't take very long. And you can come over here and uh, you can look at what you're really good at. If you look over here, proficient, green, blue, approaching, red, beginning, and purple, struggling. So you can actually see your own results over here. And I can see them as well. So I'll be able to uh, take the information that you guys give me and we can figure out what you need help on more in class. So I would really appreciate it if y'all uh, put some time into this over the weekend and we will mess around with it more next week because this is really important to our uh, time together. So thank you guys. That's it. And I'll see you guys later.